I challenge you to come and see if this isn't real. I challenge you to come and bring those that are sick and afflicted and watch God do it. It's not me. It's not the people in here. It's the environment of Christ being in our midst. He's the healer. And there's nothing impossible with God if you can just believe it. Sometimes when I'm weary, Satan wars with my soul to get my mind off of the cross. And I start fighting battles Christ has already won in a war. Satan's already lost Oh, if I hold fast To the foot of the cross I'll be caught in each life Cleansing flood If I stay on my knees Sing the wondrous love of Jesus Sing His mercy and His grace In the mansion bright and blessed He'll prepare for us a place When we all get to heaven What a day of rejoicing that will be When we all see Jesus We'll sing and shout the victory Oh, when we all get to heaven What a day of rejoicing that will be When we all see Jesus We'll sing and shout the victory Now onward to the prize before us Soon His beauty will behold Soon those pearly gates will swing open And we shall tread the streets of gold Oh, when we all get to heaven What a day of rejoicing that will be When we all see Jesus We'll see and shout the victory now while we walk this pilgrim pathway clouds will overspread the sky but when traveling days are over not a shadow not a sign oh when we all get to heaven what a day of rejoicing that will be Oh, when we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Oh, when we all... It amazes me how that when I'm in the Spirit and when I'm under the anointing, things that I, re I, I can see and I can reveal. But as soon as that Spirit lifts off of me, I'm just down to earth again. I can't help it. But there's one thing I will tell you. That God never lies, cannot break a promise, He cannot remember your sin. And if God says it, He means it. That book, oh, by the way, it's important that you, I don't know, Derek, if it's on this tape, but it's important you hear this. And I hope some of you are listening to it. The Bible that's called NIV, I think it is. Did you know that they took, I think it was 6,400 verses out of it? So, if you got one of those, trash it. Give, give it to a Jehovah Witness. They don't believe in hell, give it to them. The funny part about it is you don't know 
when they make those changes in those Bibles so that you can easily understand it, what they have changed in there, because you don't know. King James Version is the version that I read. And if you don't like what I read out of it, find your own Bible, and then when something happens, you say, well, it said, no, it didn't say. It says it right here. And God don't change His Word. He watches over His Word. And He hastens to perform that Word. And He's not going to change it because of your feelings or your tears or your giving or anything. It's already settled. So when you settled in your mind and your heart and your spirit that God is going to do what He said He's going to do, stand on it. Even if the whole world is going by you, stand on that word. What's your name, honey? My name's Tess. Tess? Mm -hmm. How old are you? 62. 62? <laughs> Why would you be ashamed of your age? And what do you need God to do for you? I just need a healing. I need a healing? What type of healing? Well, I don't know yet. I've, they said that I might have to have gallbladder surgery, and I'm claiming that I don't have to go through the surgery. Claiming you don't have to go through the surgery. Get me one bottle of water, and then... Give me seven bottles of water to take with her. Do you believe if any two or three gathered in the name pray that God can intercede and do that? You did. Now this is just ordinary water. It's made by Kirkland. But I'm going to pray that God uses this water as a point of contact to help cleanse your gallbladder. And I'm going to give you seven bottles. You drink one bottle a day, every day, for seven days. Before you do anything, you get up and you drink the water. The whole bottle. And don't be surprised if you notice how God begins to flush your system. How that God will cleanse you from the inside out. Okay? And it's not anything to be ashamed of to know that God did it, but there's one thing you must do after He does it, and that is tell somebody. Every morning when you get up, this is what I want you to do. I need a card, a hanky, and oil. See, I've been gone so long they forgot. You see this card? I'd like for you to put that in your bathroom. And I want you to write your name on it. And here's what it says. I and your name. And read what it says. I am anointed to be blessed, prosperous, and highly favored of the Lord. Do you believe that? Yes. Then what you do, as you're reading that, you anoint yourself. You look in that mirror, you're agreeing with yourself. That's it. Faith together. You anoint yourself. And watch what God does. This is a hanky that I would like for you to take on one corner, <clears throat> put past, put the date on it, on the other side, future. On the past, I want you to meditate while you're thinking about what God has did in your life. No matter how far back it goes, I want you to write it down. That's your testimony. You overcome by your testimony. On the future, starting this very day, everything that God does for you, you start writing that down. And I promise you, by the time Christmas or New Year's for sure is here, both sides will be full. And then I want you to come back and get another hanky. I'd like for you to come back before that, though. <laughs> okay? Now, wait, I ain't done with you. Why don't you take your glasses off? Give them to Sally. Give that stuff to Sally. I want you to take three swigs of this.
What's your name? Tess. Tess. I forget names, but I don't forget faces. I want you to slip your hands up. That's Presbyterian. That's Presbyterian. You have to reach up for your blood. Ah, ah, now you see. That oil. Father, from the top of Tessa's head to the soles of her feet, I bring her before your throne of grace and mercy. I command a total healing throughout her entire body in Jesus' name for thy glory. Amen and amen. It is done. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Somebody praise him. You look pretty sharp there, young man. What's your name? Mikel Hughes Coos. Mikel? Mikella. Mikella. That's a different name. I've never heard that one before. Huh? Hawaiian for Mitchell. You from Hawaii? You're from Hawaii. You wish, huh? <laughs> hey, faith works. Jesus never fails. Take your glasses off. How did you find out about the service? I'm friends with Pastor Oki and Ruth and ask us. Oh, that's the problem. <laughs> what do you want God to do for him? I've got an evil spirit. You got an evil spirit? You got an evil spirit? You don't know? good when you am and you're good when you're not me too I'm the same way when I'm up I'm up when I'm down I'm down when I'm right I'm right when I'm wrong I'm right <laughs> lift up your hands young man no that's you got to get him up there both up Father, I come against this demonic spirit. I command you to loose your hold off of him. Oh, Jesus. Set him free from the top of his head, God, to the soles of his feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, for your glory. Satan, loose your hold. Amen. Amen. Do you know why this young man is having the problems he's having? He's called of God. He has a calling. And that devil's worn with him. Do what? I have a picture of him when he's a baby sitting in God's hand. Do you believe that young man? That you're called? Do you believe that you're called? What does that mean? That God's going to use your life? Yeah. You do? God is going to anoint your hands very skillfully. Very skillfully you'll be used of the Lord. You just have to be patient, sis. You hear me? How big is God? Oh yeah. The bigger God is, small of the problem you can't look at the situation you got to look at the end of the rainbow your faith doesn't look at what you are asking for you look at the coming to pass do you follow what I'm saying it's like see you're wanting prayer for this young man and you need it yourself 
believe it or not, you need it worse than him. You have went through literally hell with your health. And I don't know you, I don't know nothing about you, but I know what I'm seeing in the realm of the Spirit, and God, don't lie. Oh, come on, Jesus. Young man, I want you to turn around here, and I want you to lay your hand right here. No, no, right there. And you and I are going to pray for her. Okay? Because we want to see her healed, don't we? What's your name, honey? Father, as this young man and I stand in the gap for Sue right now, we're asking God you to touch her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. I'm asking God you to heal her of all four things that you just showed me. Her heart, her kidneys, her liver, blood and sugar combined. Be healed. Amen and amen and amen. I want to remind you of something. About seven years ago, you made a vow and a promise to God. You better learn to fulfill it. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you, young man. Nobody told you daily love. Sally, you sure look good, lady. Take it with you. I want you to take it with your hand. Father, right now, in Jesus' name, I ask you to touch my sister from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. And I rebuke this affliction and ask her to totally be healed and it to dry up in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Looking good, girl. She doing okay, Sue? You doing okay? Do you believe that God's going to answer your prayer? I believe He already has. That's the difference. Ma'am, do I know you? 
I don't. Is this your first time here? May I pray for you? Come here. First of all, did anybody tell you today they love you? <laughs> well, I know the Lord has... All right. Well, I do, and I know they do. Okay. I noticed how you was in the spirit of what was taking place. You're not a new convert. You've been around for a while. And there's been some promises made to you through prophecy. And some of them have come to pass, but the big ones haven't yet. And they're on their way. And they are bigger than what you know. Does anybody in here know her? Nobody knows you. So it has to be God telling me this so nobody else did. Okay? And I'm going to just say it like this. God is in the house. Okay? I want you to make sure that Sue and that young man gets oil, a card, and a hanky. You understand what I told them to do with that hanky, Sue? You put the past and the future on it, the date. And every time God reminds you of something he did in your past, you mark that down. Everything he starts from today, you mark that down. By the end of the year, it'll be filled on both sides. No matter how little you write it. You take one of these oils and a card, put it in your bathroom, you anoint yourself and pray and teach that young man to do the same. If he said no, grab him by the ear and jerk him in there and make him do it. <laughs> if not, call me and I will. <laughs> what was your name, honey? My name is Deborah. Deborah? Yes, sir. Deborah, I want you to slip up your hands and I want you to get ready. That's Methodist. That? <laughs> well, I got her converted. I know. How you doing, sis? Bless you. Do you know what a money tree is? It's trees. It's got money hanging all over. God's getting ready to shake that money tree for you. There's some people that owe you some money. And God's going to speak to their heart and release some money to you. And finances will not be your burden no more. Pentecost on me again. <laughs> Father, I bring Deborah before your throne of grace and mercy. I'm asking for your Shekinah glory to overshadow her from the top of her head, God, to the soles of her feet. I'm asking a total healing in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. Give me an And Pastor, I say too. You do.
whether you believe this or not, I was just getting ready to tell you that that talent that you have is going to be well blessed. Jesus singing for us. I love you, Lord, and I live my voice it, to worship you, oh, my soul. Testimony. Take joy, my King, in what you hear. Everybody stand. Come on, let's say it to you. Thank you. 